happening tonight for park goers after three people were robbed on the trails at Van Cortland Park. CBS 2's Navin Dollywell spoke with runners who are taking extra precautions. As the first snowfall of the season came to a close, New Yorkers made their way to Van Cortland Park with some reservations. It's a great park. It's a, an amazing park. Uh, it's a shame that this is going on. Nicole Limperopoulos walks her dog Finn daily. She's now on high alert, knowing about the three robberies on the trails last month. I don't carry a wallet with me. Um, not having a phone is a hard thing. Police say all three crimes happened in the afternoon. The first on December 13th, when a man jogging on Forest Trail inside the park had his cell phone and running belt snatched by one suspect who had two accomplices on mopeds. Detectives say six days later, things got even more serious when a suspect on a dirt bike showed a knife robbing a woman of her cell phone. Then on Christmas Eve, a similar incident. This time, the suspect pulled up behind a jogger on a trail displayed a screwdriver getting away with a phone. Dude has a knife and is holding people sort of up for their phones at knife point. Um, not great. Fidel Vidal is part of New York Roadrunners and trains in the park. He's been given the warnings. They have suggested to run in groups because if you're by yourself, you you become a target. In addition to park police seen on Sunday patrolling. Unfortunately, they have to be here under these circumstances, but it's nice seeing them. Some sense of relief, but Limperopolis says there should be warning signs. No posters, no postings. Like a sitting duck, right? Uh, if we know that there is this problem in the park, right? Obviously kind of being able to walk together or being able to give each other a heads up. Now the NYPD is monitoring the park closely and detectives are working to find out whether all three incidents are connected. In Van Cortland Park, Naveen Dhaliwal, CBS 2 News.